hello guys welcome back and in this video i want to show you how to use computed properties so by the end of this uh, lesson you should be able to learn how to use computed properties you know to create what we call basically derived properties so for example if you are if you have maybe name you are fetching that data from the database and you want to have automatically maybe the first name the second name the date without necessarily writing a lot of code every time then you can use computed properties so without further ado let us dive in and see how to use this and i'm going to edit a number of things here so the name can remain but the second guy here we can use uh, maybe an array and in our case maybe we can say we can call this maybe books and then we can say this book is of course going to be an array so the book that this uh, guy has published so let us say test book one and maybe uh, test book two so when i scroll down i'm going to remove uh, this person and what i'm going to do i'm just going to say let us say paragraph here and then we don't need to update for now so here what i'm going to do i'm going to say that the person dot or rather that will be the books let's say the person books and maybe i can check the length you know the length if it is greater than uh, if it is greater than zero he has you know some book that has been published at least so in this case i can just say i'll say yes otherwise i'll say uh no and then what i can do is that here i can just say published like this and maybe i can do something like this something very simple as that so let's go here as you can see currently we have published yes and that is because we have you know at least one book here but if i go here and you know just remove these books for now and uh, if i go here i delete this now as you can see the published is no so what happens is that now every time i need to you know every time i need to check if the book has been published and return yes or no it will it will mean either i'll have to write you know this code over and over again or two i might want to use a function and call this function over and over again just to you know to get these values here but the issue with the function is that a function when using a function you cannot be able to track the values of uh, basically um, the latest value that is there on the state which means uh, for example if i use this in a function then i won't be able to you know to track that value reactively so that is the downside of using a function and the good thing with now using computed properties is that it tracks the value reactively so to create a computed property is very simple so now i can just say const and i can say uh, has published maybe books like this and then i can say this is going to be computed just say computed and of course we need to import this guy on view here so i need to say computed like so and this computed is uh, you need to call a function here like this and that is it and then now simply what i can do is that i can simply cut our guy here where is it it is until here so i can cut this guy I can go up here and i can see you know return and uh, now this will return yes or no now if i go down here i can simply call the name of this guy like so just down here so i can simply paste this guy here and i'm good to go so with this now that uh should you know should work so let me see do a save here if i go 
we can still see that we have no but now if i come and update here and say maybe book one and say maybe we have another book again here call this book two and i save this i go to the browser as you can see now we have yes here so that is how you use computer properties they are kind of automatic so when i call this guy this will evaluate the latest value you know for this variable and check yes or no and then return uh, the value that is required so with this now even the code becomes more clearly i don't and i don't have to rewrite this again and again so one of the best use cases for computed properties is for example if you are logged in and you are not using you know state management tools like pinia you then just check uh, if the user is logged in once the page loads for this specific you know view it just checks if the user is logged in you know all the logic inside here and return maybe uh, is logged in yes or no whatever and then now in your code you just have to use a variable like this to evaluate you know whether the user is logged in or not and that is it guys on using computed properties i hope you have understood and let us meet in the next lesson